So my big idea for procurement is around the information of everything. And it's a really interesting um, idea and concept that's come out. Um, the amount of data, as we've heard today, that's being created um, is huge. Um, and we're hearing today about that we're in the conversational age. So much of this data is coming from us in the form of social media, um, blog posts. And as procurement, we have to know what our suppliers and our clients and our partners are saying about not only us, um, about their organisation as well and their business. Uh, not only the number and the volume of data that's being created, but the devices and sources in which these come from is increasing. Um, so we're hearing now a big thing about the Internet of Things. Uh, that's a huge thing for procurement supply chain. So we've seen some of the more recent and mature technologies, such as RFID, being able to track sort of logistics um, in our supply chain. But some more radical ideas that we see in things such as smart fabric and technologies that allow us to detect the wearer's health. Um, in procurement, that's a huge thing now to tell maybe aspects of modern slavery that can be happening in the supply chain. Um, a very radical idea, but one that would be very relevant for procurement. Something that's then passed the information and, and the internet of things is the information of everything um, and starting to go past the traditional um, and even some newer sources of data and glean insight from sources of data we never thought was possible. So at IBM recently we've uh, acquired uh, the weather company uh, and the weather is a really interesting area in which um, procurement can start to use. So if we start to look at forecasting trends and patterns, um, particular seasons that might have um, uh, an, an effect on our supply chain because our consumers are actually demanding more of a certain product allows us to forecast um, and predictive, um, have predictive modelling better for those scenarios. Another area where it's really interesting is coming from a continuity and a resiliency perspective. Um, as we've heard today, understanding where there might be disaster scenarios such as earthquakes, uh, typhoons, tsunamis, um, in predicting where they might happen um, ahead of time, being able to move resource, reallocate and avoid disruption to the supply base. Uh, and as we're hearing from Nick Gower about these unthinkable events, um, ones such as you know, aspects of modern slavery, um, unthinkable disaster scenarios such as earthquakes and areas, we can turn these unthinkable events into outthinkable.